Recently, I've shared the video about how I've got a job as a full stack developer in 10 months, completely self-taught. Now, I know that there are different stories and some people get there in six months, some people get there in three months. And my goal is here to give you the real experience and the real hardship that I have gone through while learning to code. Motivated by a single word, remote, I jumped into researching about jobs in tech industry and I found so many people self-studying and getting jobs less than six months. And because I was new to coding, I wasn't expecting or I wasn't rushing to get a job in six months, but I used it as a timeline. I told myself that if I start coding now, I have to start applying for jobs in six months. Without any expectations, I've started learning HTML and CSS. I've bought a very detailed course on Udemy and I gave myself a month for it. So I didn't have a lot of time to explore all the details that the course covered, but I've learned about the existence of SAS, LESS, and other packages. At this point, I had no idea what's coming and that everything that I've learned is just a mere entrance to tech world. And when you're learning something new, it feels like you're falling into abyss. Everything is unknown. And what helped me here is to have a comprehensive resource that gave me overall idea first before jumping and diving deep into details. So I had a list of things that I had to ace in JavaScript and overall idea by the end of the course was to be able to build a dynamic application. And for that, I needed to learn the fundamentals like data types, arrays, functions, objects, DOM manipulation, operators, and etc. And for the first months, I've spent mostly on theory, trying to understand everything and trying to make them all work together. And from there, my motivation started going Going downwards because I felt like time was running fast but I wasn't moving. It was harder to grasp the simplest concepts and my terminal was bleeding red from all the mistakes. And I'm guessing this is where most of the people start giving up. The thing about coding is, or even learning something new in general, you don't see the progress right away. But it's coming. And the process itself is already a progress, as long as you show up every day. The third month of coding, long gone the naive idea about starting a job in six months and uh, starting to earn the big money. At that point, I was just coding, trying to figure out how to build my application, fixing all the bugs, and mostly copying the code from Stack Overflow. And to be honest, Learning React also came naturally because it was very hard to build complex applications on JavaScript only. And slowly I started seeing more than just the fancy remote job that pays the big money. I would just open any application and I would start breaking it down to million components and functions. And I knew that if I want to get a job, I need to be able to write code for all these small actions that I can do in most common applications. For example, in this website, there are some images and data where do they come from? Well, there's this search bar that filters some data according to the input value. How can I do that? Or how can I render that data back? Or where do we even store all this code? And at that point as well, I've realized how much add event listener made a lot of sense because we can listen to every event that was initiated by the user on this website. And that kind of perspective helped me to improve a lot more. When it comes to self-studying, I would love to tell you that I've used fancy journaling or notebooks or Trello, but I didn't. In my case, it was just about getting up every day and doing it without any extra emotions, without searching for motivation or reason. I was just showing up every single day and practicing it. Even though it all seems overwhelmingly a lot, we can only win by adding value every single day. I wish that I could have organized myself better when I was learning, or I wish that I could have documented everything that I was doing. But to be honest, in the beginning, it doesn't really matter because we all have days where we're overly motivated and we want to reach there as soon as possible. And we have days where we're on the edge to give up. So at the end of the day, it's just about finding the best way that works for you. And anyway, coding is all about learning for the rest of your career, so might as well get used to it now. Honestly, coding actually changed me a lot because before this, I used to kind of wake up in the morning and seize my day without specific agenda, just go with the flow. But only now I'm starting to plan my weeks and plan my weekends as well, text people that I want to meet beforehand, or even more, I have time to film my YouTube videos. And because I kept learning something new for six months and my brain was constantly active, now I feel way more focused than before. And when I read books now, I don't wonder in Alice's Wonderland. I just grasp the information faster, I absorb the context 
faster and our brain's capacity is actually so big that it needs constant challenge to stay focused so in reality we can do so much more as long as we put our mind into it